Hello everybody, welcome back. This is you, folks. part four of the playthrough. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true. And get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Yeah, so we're actually on a new episode now, if I recall. We finished the episode two, I guess. On the last playthrough. So, here we are. Looking for a girl, Rose, who apparently is tricking us. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in that sketchy in lady. Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway... She knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. That's weird. Must be why she's crazy, Dan. So weird because you can't walk, I don't think. You can only run. But then this guy's obviously limping because he has a messed up leg. So he moves very slowly. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Exactly what he said. Welcome to... to... Oh dear. Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. That doesn't seem weird, the way she's acting, too. Like, hey, I don't know what to tell really you. Good. She's sketchy. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for... She's literally like a robot. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? What? It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must. There she is, the weird lady. Started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Back to work, boy. Ah! I don't know why you would drink coffee from some lady that you don't know that I is acting all sketchy and robotic, but only anger kept me going. It's a lot of bad decisions in this game, I, I guess. Our main character. Anymore. 
but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. But he's got a My fetish. Is being heavily revised. For Alan Wake here. Getting very Obsession. And each day there's less of me and Rose more took her. a day for me. I, it, I had less than 12 hours right. left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the just road. Barry, here's this Welcome chick. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. I wonder what happened what to her. What can I get you today? Is she like... Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me. I don't know, man. Her mind's like fried or something. I don't think there's anything else that we can use in here. So let me grab this dude. Thank you. Real quick. Have a nice day. How do we grab him? Come back. Oh, we can. We just leave the trailer. Okay. out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Hmm. Let me look around. I'm not really sure. Okay, get the get to the car. Okay, we go to the car. And we're in this direction. I just stepped Somebody had an, another drink. Let me tell you, while we were uh. Busy in the house. I haven't really looked at the new video yet. I know it was 1080p and then it still said processing. I don't know if it appeared in better quality. I'll have to check it out. Hopefully it did. And if it did, I'll probably do the same thing for this one, but I'm not really sure yet. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slane. Can't kill me. That's not how the script goes, silly. What are you? I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac. Back in the dark woods, I assume. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Give it up, Mr. Wake! Come on! Take it easy! game does spend a good amount of time in the woods, I'm not gonna lie. Seems to, to be the place to go around here. And so when do they have a helicopter? I guess this little town is a little bigger than I thought it was. Although if I recall, I think this guy's an FBI agent, right? So, it's a little different. up flares now. Getting back into an area of the weird nightmare dudes. I don't even know what they're called, but you can tell that they're somewhere around here. Oh shit. Yeah, they're definitely around here. Gotta get to that light real quick before they get to me. I assume there'll probably be a weapon and a flashlight laying around somewhere up ahead. Either that or I'll come across that one dude again that has a gun and kept protecting me.
whatever is happening to them right now does not sound fun. I don't want to be a part of it, so I'm uh, I'm just gonna keep going. Wow, they took our flashlight out or our lamp. Bunch of dickheads. This horror was everywhere Shit. I went, circling me. That car got fucked. Didn't stand a chance. They were after a rider. At least the radio works still. see the helicopter but I hear it there it is yeah FBI you on the ground. makes sense right there. To run. shut up Freeze. oh shit what's going on here this birds are about to go after it yeah that's a GG for that helicopter you sir have fun I'm, I'm gonna go run Check if there's anything useful in here. What are we looking for? Yeah, I assume like that's probably gonna be our destination. Oh, uh, there we go. Radio station. Over. Uh, That's actually probably our destination. Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose Looks much here. better. More lit. More enticing to go to. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Game definitely looks good. Still. I hope I can, by the end of this series, get this quality in my videos for everyone to see. Damn. I can start the engine, maybe? Yes, we can. Let's do it. Or some clowns show up and try to kill us. There we go. At some point I'm gonna look up what the point of the coffee is because I, I don't know. Maybe it's just a collectible item throughout the levels. but. Oh, I think I know how to destroy it. We probably have to adjust the light to point to the gate, right? That's probably it. Okay, so I assume you have power for a temporary amount of time. You have to start up the engine, run back, aim the light. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Let's start it up and then run over there and... Get the light shining on the gate before some shit gets messed up again. There we go. I guess that's the end of that light. Another theory that I just thought of too is maybe 
maybe he fell, trip, like got knocked out and he's sleeping this whole time. And then when he finally wakes up and everything, he's gonna be like, oh shit, I have this great idea for a story. And he finally writes one. I also read online that there's not a sequel for this game. There's like an additional, I guess maybe like, I don't know if it's going to be considered like a DLC game for this on the Xbox. But the sequel they ended up canceling, but they made Quantum Break, which I have, and that's supposed to be like kind of inspired by this. Flashbang these hoes. The light. Let's get to the light. Quick. Nice, more flashies. Just what I like to see. Script over there. Yeah, there's a lot of dudes here. Stay back, demon. Can't get my cheeks, not today. Oh, good, it, it does kill them. I was wondering if it kills them because I saw a guy disappear, but that confirms my theory. Ah, oh, my health is so low right now. I need to like survive long enough that I can heal up and then I do have a few more flashbangs. Yeah, I have five of them. And we got three more. Sick. Yeah. Better time those flashies just right. Maximum damage. And hopefully not to get hit. At least we're like really close to this radio station now. Ooh. Okay, I still have five of them, so. Get your ass down, ho. I got places to be. I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Okay, so I got an achievement for, I guess, picking up these coffee thermoses. That door is locked. Let me try to look around while I assume he finishes his radio se session. Oh great, now everybody knows where I am. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Whoa, 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 everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. 
What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. I had fallen off so many cliffs it was ridiculous. I wish this was HP Lovecraft. Sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Alright, so we got some flares. And we get to keep our flashbangs as well, it looks like. I'm pretty happy about that. Especially since we don't have a gun yet. Those flares are kind of useless on their own. Seeing some items over here, though, maybe we'll get a gun finally. Uh, maybe not. It's like we just. Oh, okay, we got a gun. Nice. Got ourselves three flares, two flashbangs, and a gun. Might use the flares for now, so I can save my grenades. So close, he needs a little bit more. Same with him. Oh, I think we got him. Oh, I'm out of ammo. That's not good. Well, we got some more. Heal me light. Shotgun. gun a mine if I do oh that's why I got a shotgun because of that bullshit take some of this let me know how it feels oh Fucker ambushed me. Maybe we managed to kill all of them. Oh no, there's one more here. Somewhere around here. We're going to a train depot. I assume this is not where we need to go, but it looks like there might be a manuscript page up there. Or maybe it is where we need to go. Hmm. No, it's definitely just a manuscript page. It's gonna be one of those situations where we're gonna run up here and then there's gonna be like 80 fucking enemies spawning behind us. Like you wanted that page so bad, now you get fucked. Surprisingly not. Usually the expectation. Somewhere around here, though.
Luckily, I still have one more flashbang that I can use. Lithium batteries? Do they last longer than normal batteries? I hope so. Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alice. Alice. I'm so afraid. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alice, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. Yeah, I don't know if I trust that call. I could find a car from there. Probably all just a setup. Go ahead, climb. There we go. Good job. What a shitty bridge. about to die to a bunch of fucking objects are you serious right now some sort on the opposite shore kind of dumb ass shit is that what yeah I'm done follow yeah I did follow I got hit by a bunch of random ass objects maybe I'll toss a flashbang next time We'll see. Fucking weird. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. Stole my flashbang. I don't think I used my last one yet. Guess I gotta manually do this shit. Fuck. Oh, I'm dead. I gotta battle a bunch of fucking objects with a flashlight. Whose idea was this? I wanna know. Who is sitting there designing this game and going, I know a good idea. We can make him battle a bunch of fucking parts of the bridge with a flashlight. It's gonna be so much fun. That shit's taking everything over, why doesn't it just take me over? Put me out of my misery. Instead of hitting me with a bunch of fucking pieces of the bridge. How the fuck am I supposed to survive this shit? Dude, this, this game's fucked. I don't know what to do. 
I hoped I could find the car. And I keep stealing my fucking flashbang because they're a bunch of dickheads. I literally destroyed all those fucking things in one flashbang. See at which point this shit disappears. Still have it. 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 The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger. And it was taking over everything in its power. Let me use this shit. Before it somehow goes away. There we go. I have no idea how I didn't have it last time, like... This level is just fucking straight dodging everything. I'm like a dodgeball on steroids over here. source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them... A new flashlight. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. Okay, so this shit goes a lot farther than the other one did. Got some explodey items here. He got too far away from it. What a fucking bitch. I'm being a bitch and die to that light. Oh. Mofo. Oh, come on. Insert that battery already, you fucking dickhead. Press Q like 80 times and see it doesn't do shit. And now I'm dead. Ah. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. This dude's almost as useless as Ashley in Resident Evil 4, and I have to play as him. Darkness could possess anything. Holy shit. It was getting closer. You grab some items laying around. What are you doing? Get out of here. He was trying to sneak up on me while I wasn't looking. Trying to focus on the other guy. Alright, let me go through that gate real quick before more shit appears. Or I got knocked out by a barrel or some shit. At least it works a lot better on like smaller enemies. Like the bigger enemies feel about the same. Smaller enemies definitely get impacted more. Load the fucking flashlight. Make sure it's all ready to go. Kind of hint is that in light you can hurt them. 
After I've already been playing it for three episodes and been doing exactly just that. Trying to troll me. Put their hints. Here's a hint. Don't die. Fuck that shit just broke. Alright, another gate that we have to deal with. Oh. Oh. Okay then. So this is the shit I have to deal with. Hear anything good? Oh, fuck. That was about to back into me. is this driving man out here doing donuts and shit to hit me <clears throat> oh they should have hit the switch already but the fence can open oh I'm dead Yeah, I get it. Come on. I don't give a shit. Just hit the fucking switch already, you fucking bastard. Holy shit. And I'm dead. Like, how difficult is it to hit a fucking switch? To hit a switch, all you have to do. Then I don't have to stand around like a jackass and get run over. Imagine that. I wanna know when these fucking things got so much mobility on them that they can just do fucking donuts and shit around a parking lot. The shit, I'll get one. They're that good, apparently. light real quick. Can't get me if I'm in a light, right? There we go, we got it. A little bit of a shit show, but we made it through. I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. The coal mine wasn't far now.
Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Mm. Let me try to get to one more checkpoint, and I'll probably end the video there. I want to try to make this video maybe like 45 minutes. Currently at about 40. See if there's anything in this tower, real quick. Or I keep going. It looks like this. Maybe where we need to stop by. I don't know. Maybe not. I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was. Let's keep going. I'm gonna try to reach the mines before I hop off. That'd be a good stopping point, I would think. Maybe you and maybe then to an episode. I don't know. Supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. If we reach the checkpoint, I'll probably just end this here, I guess. This would be a good stopping point. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. When we come back with part five, I guess that will be. We'll continue exploring the coal mine and see what's up. The daytime now so hopefully a little bit less of bs going on but yeah thanks for watching guys catch you on the next one